fuel pump failure on W113, 108, 109, and similar Mercedes. I am so happy that I get to work on W113 cars most of the time. Well, we do a lot of service on those cars. And one of the things I've become intimately familiar with is the electric fuel pump. So we're going to have a little bit of a discussion about how to diagnose a failing electric fuel pump, when your electric fuel pump could fail, under what circumstances, and what to do if there's a problem with it. And so we're going to start with uh, the first most common issue, which is dirty fuel tank. When I say dirty, I typically mean rust because these, these electric fuel pumps were used exclusively in gas cars. And when there is rust, there is failure of everything that touches that fuel. So if you were to remove the inlet on your electric fuel pump, whether it's an original tall pump or whether it's a March of 69 or later short pump, you'll find that in the inlet there's a little screen and you gotta clean all the rust and debris and sludge and junk out of the fuel pump inlet. Um, these fuel pumps tend to get really, uh, you're, these fuel pumps tend to get really sludged up if they sit too, and you have to look in there for sand or mud or other things, especially if the car's been sitting for a long time where you don't know its history. But on the other hand, if you have a, um, a car that has been advertised as restored recently, don't write off the fact that the tank still might be dirty. So there's one. Number two, here's a common one. Even with your fuel system clean, let's say it's a hot day and you're driving along the highway and your car just shuts off. A lot of people will blame the ignition system or the points or the electronic ignition control or all that stuff, but usually that's not the issue. The issue is a lack of delivery from the pump overheating. And many times you can tell if your pump is failing on these cars and has led to a shutdown if you go to the back of the car, switch it on, and listen to a little hum from the pump bzzz, or bzzz. a slow quiet hum is the best but if the pump sounds like a dying insect it means that it is not pumping fuel and it is vapor locking and yes these electric fuel pumps do vapor lock and it happens a lot on 6.3s so if you have a 6.3 i especially am warning you but one of the one of the other issues you have to watch out for is even people rebuild the pumps problems can occur with the solder joints or the brushes or the armature that really slow them down but if you have one of these issues don't lose faith it doesn't mean you have to throw your pump away or substitute for a modern modern pump martin Worminghausen at 600 air suspension will rebuild your pump for you he will make it really nice. It's just going to cost you some money. But if you have one of these cars, you really shouldn't be that worried about the cost of a fuel pump rebuild. Also, Authentic Classics and Niemöller and some other sites sell rebuild kits for these pumps. So if you're feeling bold enough and you're not worried about having to take the pump off again or a third time or fourth time or shipping the car back from Illinois or something like I might have to if something goes wrong, you can attempt to rebuild yourself. They're really not that hard. You just need to know how to solder and clean stuff really well. Now, when these pumps go, another thing that happens is that they like to leak. And where do they leak? They leak at the motor joint and the pump body, or they leak at the bottom seal plate, or they leak at the electrical terminals, all of which have O-rings. Now, people often ask me this. They say, does the pump run with gasoline filling up the motor body? And the answer is yes. So if you are perplexed, stunned, or scared by this, remember that that's how all fuel pumps work. The trick is you don't want a spark, and a spark cannot occur unless there is oxygen. So if you have a fuel pump that is totally full, sparks don't really occur under water, <laughs> or under gasoline, or whatever it would be, under liquid. Uh, so don't let it freak you out, you know, really, really you just, and liquid gasoline, by the way, is not super flammable. It's the vapor that's really flammable and those vapors are deadly. So don't breathe them in. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, or I should say, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe, please. If you're supporting us on Patreon, we really appreciate you. 
And uh, if you um, if you're struggling with mysterious stalling on your Mercedes from this era, check your electric pump, please. I hope you uh, got something useful out of it, and we will talk in the future. Keep your Mercedes on the road. Thank you.